So today we're here at Heathfield School in Ascot to meet Scuba Trust, a fantastic charity supporting disabled people to get in the water and have a go at scuba diving. So let's learn more about them. The Scuba Trust has been going as a charity for uh, 21 years and it was uh, initially set up to enable um, the level playing field for disabled divers to actually enjoy the sport that uh, we, we all do. So how many disabled people have you helped, do you think, over the years? Too many to count, to be honest. Um, personally, since I've been in, uh, an instructor with the Scuba Trust, um, I've done at least 30 disabled divers um, over a number of courses. So the uh, initial uh, starter course, the open water course, and again progressing on from that and getting more advanced. Heather's on her first try dive with Scuba Trust and here to learn the basics. First off is to learn about how to get in and out of the harness or the rig as it's called. Heather also has to practice the breathing techniques needed for diving with oxygen. Diving safely is paramount, so learning the signals is next to be able to communicate with your instructor. The Scuba Trust instructors are all fully qualified and are here to make sure that everyone is safe and supported while they experience their first adventures underwater. It doesn't take long before Heather is confident enough to head off on her first swim and really experience what it's like to go scuba diving. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so Heather, you've just come out of the water. How was it? I had such a fantastic time. I have every intention of coming back. I loved it. The, the freedom in the water, once you're in the water and there's no gravity again pulling against you, so brilliant. Yeah. So what made you interested in, in scuba diving in the first place? It's something I've always wanted to do and never had the opportunity. There was just no access or it just wasn't possible. My husband doesn't swim so when we go on holiday it's not something we can do together. <laughs>